we are a digital data services company that brings together machine learning, AI, and data services. And the real uniqueness of the company is in the fact that the employees of the company who actually work on these online on-demand services, data services, so they're usually 10th or 12th standard students so out of 1,000 employees that we have, more than 82%, so 80, 820 of them, come from very low resourced and poor backgrounds. So what iMerit does is works with these young men and women to really skill them, but to be able to do on-demand data services. And the kind of work we do is data analytics, a lot of image work, so working with images for self-driving cars or for augmented reality or cancer cell categorization. And that is, I think, the power of using computing machine learning and the human power that drives the machine, that trains the machine, that creates the data sets. And together, that nexus is what delivers the next generation data services. Digital companies like Amazon, they will say that data, machine learning, and humans, those coming together is what is the future, or what is called the future of work. And that's what iMerit is all about. You could be doing something as simple as employer location information. You're processing to different kinds of images, or it could be imagery that's coming from like a Getty images. It could be imagery that's going right into where an IoT is and picking up images from there to something that's from a satellite. So I think that is where the exciting new work is, which is connecting satellite information all the way through information picked up from it. IoT sensor that's on the ground, right? And that, whether it's to do with crops, whether it's to do with land titles, whether it's to do with environment, these become extremely critical. And our ability to work with that imagery and combine it with um, data right at the source, that could be data of many forms. We work with text data, with audio data, with video data, with image data, and our ability to do the analytics around it is what is, 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 it's really what data services is. We are a for-profit social enterprise, right? So it's our clients. It's so on the one hand, it's our clients and their client results and client business. It could be something like being able to analyze Twitter images and Twitter data around a particular event or over a period of time. It could be sentiment analysis. It could be a variety of different things out of which you get an insight, out of which an action is taken. So it's clients, and 90% of our clients are US clients. I think there is a bigger picture in terms of how the idea came about. It wasn't just an idea. If you look back to 30 years ago, right? Nobody believed you could do IT in India. I had the opportunity to start Hewlett Packard in India in 1987. And at that time, you know, Bangalore was a very sleepy but beautiful town full of gardens. And nobody thought you could do IT there. What is a satellite data link? Texas Instruments and HP set up the first software centers, 100% owned software centers. And from that, and at the same time, Infosys happened, TCS happened, and look at that industry, it's a $150 billion industry, and it's created, has wealth creation in the metros of India. But it hasn't gone to the young boys and girls. What is the next phase of technology, and what is happening with digital? These young boys and girls, they are born mobile, they are born digital, they are born social media. They are not like us. They didn't come from having to learn these. They are born in that world. So what is best is to be able to bring them the inclusion into the digital economy, into the digital world. 
And amazing thing was, and this is not us, it's the ability of the young people. This is why I really believe in the power of youth and young women. I believe in it. I believe given a little impetus and technology as an enabler, they can go anywhere. And so within a year we established that's possible. And then we got funding from some investors. So Dell, Obedia and Kosla are the three investors. And that's how iMerit got built 